Hi, this is Amy. Thanks for stopping by. I'm the owner of the original bridal hangers that I actually sell them on Etsy. And I just wanted to show you a hanger that we did recently. And I'm going to just use this as a sample just to show you, uh, first of all, the wire that we use is soft in order for us to be able to bend, or I should say me, be able to bend the wire into the actual shapes. If you use a uh, more dense wire, a stiffer wire, it's actually harder on your hands to be able to move, move them into the different shapes of the letters. And the reason why that's a concern is that even just using the 12 gauge silver aluminum wire can be very difficult on your hands and your arms and you have to actually get used to doing it after a while some of the muscles and stuff that you're using actually start feeling better however if you're using a stiffer wire something that's harder to bend um, that might actually cause long more long-term damage and at this point I still want to be able to use my hands so um, I just wanted to point that out that that is the reason why the wire is soft however even though it's soft if you treat it with care it's going to last you for the picture taking up with your dress which is the main purpose of the hangers of course if you want to keep it for afterwards as a keepsake that's awesome but again you have to treat it with care and not throw it around or sit it where it's going to uh, maybe get sat on or something something sitting on top of it. I've had people do that where they've stored them until they were ready to use them and pull them out and then the wire is bent up. Basically though if in during shipping if by some reason the wire would move just to show you you know that can happen. Um, it's not a, a common occurrence all the time but that can happen. The wire is also very easy to move back into place. You just have to be careful because you don't want to be moving it back and forth too much because that can actually cause the wire to break. So again, with these type of hangers, um, when we created them, my husband and I are the original, when we created them, their purpose was to actually hold a wedding dress for photos on your wedding day, something that would make a great keepsake as far as the, photo, the actual photos go. And uh, um, basically, like I said, that was the general purpose. It wasn't for you to hang something on and off consistently day after day after day because the wire will not hold up for that purpose and that's not the intent of the hangers to begin with. If you want something like that, I would just recommend having uh, an engraved hanger or maybe even one of our customized handmade hangers. Those would be awesome for that purpose where you'd have the person's name, date, if it's a graduation type present for a doctor or uh, some you know, professional type person that will be hanging their coat on, their lab coat, their uh, daily coat that they wear when they're working on patients. This would be, uh, this particular type would not be what I would recommend, but possibly just either one without wire totally, a regular hanger engraved for their information, or having one of our handmade hangers made to you know, to hold it day in and day out, and that would be awesome for that purpose. Again, this is just a quick little video just to um, explain to you why the wire is soft, because I know a lot of times we have questions about that. And, you know, again, if you're, you know, tugging on stuff, it'll, it'll bend and it'll stay into place, but if you're rough with it, it's going to get out of place. Now, also, one thing that really bugs me is when I get photos from brides and I see that the wire is not straight. I don't know if people are afraid to move the wire back into place or if they don't even think about it or notice it. However, it drives me crazy. So just like when you're getting ready to get a photo taken, make sure that the hanger looks nice with your dress hanging on it. Move the wire back into place so it looks awesome in your pictures so that it is a great keepsake and not one where you think, oh my goodness, that looks crazy. I wish I would have straightened that wire up. And again, that's just a little tip. Even also, too, when you have a ribbon on the top, make sure that that's in place also and not looking crazy in your pictures. You know, when you get a picture taken, you make sure that you're, I mean, typically, not just our everyday, you know, snap here and snap there type photo, but when you want, to, want a photo to be a nice photo, 
you make sure that your hair is in order, your makeup's on, you have lipstick on, no lipstick on your teeth, no food in your teeth, you know, that kind of thing. You know, do the same with the hangers. You know, they're, again, their intent is to be a photo prop. So, you know, make them do their job, but also respect them, and they'll be nice for you when it's time to be used. Thanks again for stopping by. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to contact me. Thank you.